Hi, this is Jason from Horrific Nightmares, and it's Saturday. Slashback Saturday. This is a segment created by my good buddy, Joe the Horror Man, where he picks a theme, and we watch a slasher movie based on that theme, and do a review. Now, this week's theme is no R-rated slashers. That means they could be PG-13, they could be PG, they could even be G, or a non-rated slasher. And this week I picked 555. Now, 555 is a 1988 film that runs 84 minutes and is direct, written and directed by Wally Kaz. Now, he actually passed away on January 1st, 2006, at the age of 65. He actually has nothing to his credit. This was the only thing he did. This stars Mara Lynn Bastian as Susan Rather, which I thought was a really funny name because she's actually a reporter, and her last name is Rather. <laughs> and Dan Rather, you know. Anyway. Uh, she has nothing to her credit. Uh, Charles Fuller as Colonel Peter Wayne. Nothing to his credit. And Greg Kirovac as Sergeant Comer. And nothing to his credit at all. <laughs> That's going to be a common theme in this one. Now this is a shot on video film. One of the first and one of the most brutal. Actually, I don't know if it's one of the first. I'm going to take that one back. But it's considered brutal. And this has a very love-hate sort of following. How did I feel? Well, I'm going to let you know. Let's get into, into the synopsis first. Uh, you have a killer who's described as a hippie, a tall hippie, thin, wearing a Hawaiian shirt and bell-bottom blue jeans. He is actually killing couples as they're making love. And it's done in a certain fashion which is the name 555. And I'm not going to tell you what that is because I want you to experience this one for yourself. Now, what did I think about this film? This is mostly a detective film where the cops basically have to try and find out who the killer is, what his motivation is, and as they're learning about it throughout the film, they need to stop him. I actually really enjoyed this. Now, I've heard a bunch of different things about this movie. I've heard good things. I've heard bad things. I've heard people that actually don't care if it exists or not. I was really, really surprised how good this film looked for being a shot-on-video horror film from the 80s. Now, this is the alternate... Um, this is actually the the artwork that you buy it with. Um, this is the Massacre video title, of course, and there's the back. Kind of has that Pepto-Bismol feel to it. <laughs> I, I turned it around. This is the original uh, VHS artwork. I like that better. I'm kind of old school, if you couldn't tell. <clears throat> the one thing that really struck me about this movie was how good it looked. Now, I'm not sure if Massacre Video did a number on it, cleaned it up, did all that kind of stuff to it, but I'm not used to shot-on-video movies looking this good. The other thing I was really surprised about, while the acting, while the dialogue is hokey at times, the acting was actually pretty darn good for a shot-on-video slasher. It really, really surprised me. The gore is awesome. Absolutely awesome. And I think that's what this movie is basically known for. I mean, you have a severed head on, on the cover. It's just... It's just a cool movie. I was very surprised by it. I definitely recommend it. If you're into shot-on-video horror, this is a must-have in your collection. If you like slasher movies, it's not your typical shot-on-video horror film, in my opinion. There is a little bit of a twist at the end as well. Eh. I'm still not sure how I feel about it, but 
overall, I really like the film. Definitely check out Joe's video and what is what our theme is for next week. And if you like what you see in here, hit that like button and subscribe. And until next time, peace. Thank you.